y'all. I'm just leaving Tariana's concert and um, I just feel so sad, you know? My baby is, um, she is the largest. She is the largest at the school. She is. But people stare. And I've been noticing people laughing at my baby when I drop her off to school. They laugh at her behind her back. They point. I seen some adults laugh at her today in my rear view mirror when I was dropping her off. Some black ladies laughing at my baby. They look at her in awe. And I'm not saying that it's normal. I'm not saying that it's normal. It's not normal to be her size at the age of 13. But because it's not normal, somebody with wisdom, it should automatically tell you that something is very, very wrong. That something is very, very wrong. You got to look past her size you gotta look past her size there is something very very wrong you know I hate the fact that I can feel and embody people's feelings and emotions. They stared in disbelief they got and they looked and even as we walked out, I told my baby, I am not ashamed of you. I kissed her right in the middle of everybody so everybody can know that this is my child. <laughs> Sometimes she don't want me to go. A lot of times she don't want me to don't, I don't want you to go. You don't have to go. Don't go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to be there. I'm going to show up. I'm going to let people know that you are my child and I am not ashamed Not for one single bit. You are beautiful. She is so beautiful. But anybody who had a damn brain, I be, I'm like, I'm starting to, I'm starting to feel like I almost hate humans. And you can take it how you want. This is my channel. It don't matter. It don't matter how you feel about it. I, I'm almost to the point to where humans are just and I'm thinking would you, would I I would never stare and gawk at a child because that would automatically let me know something is going on with this baby something is going on with this baby they're going through something. This is not normal. And I was just telling God, I felt so sad. I'm so tired of going through this. I'm so tired of watching my baby do this. I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of it. I am. And I know trouble don't last always. It ain't going to always be like this. Yes, I'm good enough to encourage myself. But when you have to look at this child, my child that I birthed, somebody that I love more than myself, which is why I'm trying my best to be a better example, you know? But 
there's other things in the house that TJ and the grandbaby has that she still has access to. So I can't just completely, unless I, unless TJ was not, if TJ and Cash wasn't living there, let's say this is the only way it's going to work. If TJ and Cash wasn't living there, then I will be able to do a hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Diet, dietary. It would only be, it would have anything in, anything in there. But because he has to have a snack school, they find the snacks, they find it. She eats it. She hides them. It's everywhere. It's just like a drug addict. It's like a drug addict because my baby is mentally sick. She hallucinates. She hears voices. She sees dark shadows. She's severely depressed. Her father has abandoned her after the after I left the marriage, whom she loves so much and who she'd rather be with. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired. And I enjoy my baby. I'm telling you guys, sound so I enjoy my baby. I enjoy my baby. I am going to be here whether you tell me to be here or not. I am not ashamed of you. I am not ashamed of our story. I'm not ashamed of anything that we're going through. I am not ashamed. And whoever has an opinion or whatever you got to say while y'all poking and pointing and she has no friends because they look at you as if it's some type of disease that you can catch. They look at you as if it's something that they can catch. And so you have no friends. Nobody talks to you. Even tonight, nobody talks to you. Everybody looks at you like you're this, like you're this thing. 